Okay, so I have some virtual production work I want to do in Unreal Engine using an Arduino board as an input-output device. And there is conveniently this great little UE4 Duino plugin available on GitHub. So if you just search for Unreal Engine Arduino, you should be able to find this here on uh, GitHub. And you can download the code for the plugin, just download the zip file, and you're good to go installation after you unzip it sounds like it's pretty straightforward right so i've got uh an unzipped folder there's ue4 duino it's got a unreal plugin so i could go up a level right click copy this and then over on my uh project directory here so i've got this vp experiments new studio i could just put this into a plugins directory so i right click new folder plugins double click in there and paste so now we have the plugin added to the project so over on the unreal epic launcher i should be able to run this project or open up the project and here's the error we get the following module is missing uh, or is built with a different version of the engine so this hasn't been updated in a while if we go back here take a look at that github record uh, what we see is this hasn't been updated for seven months now i can say okay and unreal engine is going to essentially rebuild that plugin for the current version in my case i'm running unreal 4.253 and we'll be able to use our project but we're going to see that error every single time we use the project so what i'm going to do instead is recompile the plugin so that I can easily drop it in, into any uh, project that uses the current version of Unreal Engine. So let's take a look at how we're going to do that. Okay, so let's get this thing recompiled. So we have the original files that we downloaded from the GitHub site. So there's a tool that Unreal provides for doing the compiling. So we'll just go over to the engine directory. So in my case, I've got an epic folder on my eDrive. In here is my UE425. Get in there, we'll go into engine. Inside there, we'll go into build. And finally, inside build, we want batch files. The tool we're gonna to use is run uat.bat. So we'll need to run this from the command prompt. So I'll just go ahead and copy this directory so we can get back to it. I don't have the right click and command prompt here thing going yet. So I'll just bring up uh, the Windows button and CMD for command prompt. Then I'll hit E colon so I get to my E drive. I'll do CD for change directory and control V to paste the directory to the batch files. So there we go. Now my command prompt is in the same place as run UAT. Now I'll start building out the command. And so I'll type in run. And if I hit tab, it automatically finds run UAT.bat for so it's the only it's the first file that starts with RUN so there we go all right so then space I'm going to tell it that I'm going to build a plugin so build plugin and then build plugin is going to need two parameters the first parameter dash plugin this is going to be the source where are we get in the files from so that's going to equals and we're going to need to point it right at this plugin right here so I'll Click on this path, control C, copy, alt tab back to my command prompt, control V. There is the full path. And then just like when I was typing in run and hitting tab, I can hit slash to get inside the directory, type in UE4 and just hit tab. And there we go. It finished the uh, typing for me. UE4 Duino dot plugin. Yeah, you plug in. Okay, great. So that's the first parameter. Final parameter is just uh, the package. You know, basically, where do we want this to output the finished compiled result? So dash package equals. And actually, I'm just going to have this go essentially into the same folder. So I'm going to control V and paste that same directory. And then inside that, I'll just do a slash. And I'm going to say UE for Duino. And I'm just going to add 425 to the end and then quote. So this is just a new directory inside UE4 Duino. That new directory will be 
UE4 Duino 425. So I know that this has been compiled for Unreal Engine 425. And that's it. Just hit enter. And then that project is going to get to work. It's going to take a little while. So I'm just going to go ahead and pause the recording. And as soon as this finishes, we'll finish up uh, trying it out. All right, so our compile is finished and we get success at the end. So let's take a look at our UE4 Duino folder and sure enough, UE4 Duino 425. If I double click in here, we've got a brand new U plugin and a whole bunch of binaries and other files. So these should be ready to use. Let's go ahead, right click and copy that new folder. And then I'll go back over to my plugins where I put in the old UE4 Duino. So let's delete what we used before and paste the 425 version. So this is the new recompiled version. Go back over to my launcher and fire up that studio. This time everything should load up fine and ideally we won't get any errors for the plugin at all. And look at that. Our project is loaded. There were no errors. And if we go to edit and plugins, sure enough, there is our UE4 Duino plugin ready to roll. And we can now start communicating with an Arduino and start receiving information from controls and sliders and all sorts of devices, as well as control things, including Blackmagic cameras. We'll be getting into those projects in future videos. Until then, have fun.